In this video, we're going to draw the Lewis structure for HNC. This is hydrogen isocyanide, and we'll also look at HCN, hydrogen cyanide. These two compounds, they can change back and forth, flip back and forth. Usually on Earth, we have HCN, but where it's cold in outer space, interstellar space, this is quite common as well, the HNC, hydrogen isocyanide. So it's kind of an important compound if you're studying outer space. So let's draw the Lewis structure for HNC first. We'll write the elements in the order they're written here, HNC. If we count our valence electrons up for both structures, we have 10 valence electrons. So we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. Then let's complete the octet here on the carbon. And we've used all 10 valence electrons. So the carbon's fine, hydrogen's fine, nitrogen it's not. We can move two here. That forms a double bond. Carbon still has eight, nitrogen has six, so it looks like we'll need a triple bond. Let's move these down here. Let's put these up here for symmetry. So this is the Lewis structure for HNC. Let's do HCN. Again, we'll just write HCN. So it's the same structure. We've just switched the place of the carbon and the nitrogen. In this case, again, the nitrogen has an octet, the carbon has an octet, the hydrogen is fine as well. If we calculate the formal charges, for this hydrogen cyanide, HCN, they'll all be zero. So that means this is a very likely or favorable Lewis structure. For the HNC, if we calculate the formal charges, we'll have a positive and then a negative on the carbon. So this isn't as favorable. This is a higher energy state. But again, because it's so cold in outer space, this actually does exist. It's quite common. So those are the Lewis structures for HNC, hydrogen isocyanide, and HCN, hydrogen cyanide. Both would have a linear molecular geometry, and the bond angle would be 180 degrees. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.